Let's go to Christian. You're on the air. What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, Twitch homies? My question is about the uh, impact. Is it regarding the fact that they had a commercial yesterday hyping up Sam anniversary, and they announced that they might have some former release WWE superstars coming up. My question is, uh, who do you think it's going to be? If it's going to matter. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for the call. So here's what happened. Impact announced Slammiversary, which is going to be coming up Saturday, July 18th. No location. They have no idea where it's going to be, or we have no idea where it's going to be. I'm sure they've got multiple plans depending on what they can do. But the announcement video featured an unidentified person wearing a hoodie saying, Breaking news from the world of professional wrestling. Over 20-plus superstars were released from their contracts amidst the ongoing global pandemic. Their fate currently remains unknown. We will be closely monitoring the situation. We wish them all the best in their future endeavors. By the way, the actual number is so much higher than 20. If you talk about everybody in WWE, it's not even funny. They had footage, past impact footage, of Eric Young, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Drake Maverick, Kurt Hawkins, Mike and Maria, EC3, and a Bulgarian flag. Video ended with the announcement of the date for Slammiversary. I don't know who's coming, okay? But I can tell you this. I can tell you this. There have been people who have been released from WWE, and they have been offered deals to come back, and the the offers for them to return are a fraction of what they were making. And what that means is... Like, the idea that some of these wrestlers would choose not to go to Impact because they're waiting for more money to go back to WWE. The offers that I've seen, we may be seeing a fair number of people showing up at Impact. I don't know that. I just know that based on what I've seen, some renewal offers, uh, there are definitely people that would definitely go to Impact Wrestling. Back in a moment, Observer Live.